In 2003, our warehouse of cocoa products in Zandam burnt down. For a fire, you need three items, fuel, oxygen and the correct temperature. Generally, people use water and foam to extinguish a fire, but with cocoa, this is not successful. You could take away the oxygen considerably, but how? That has been considered and is applied in this way in the Netherlands for the first time in the warehouses for cocoa products of DSV in Amsterdam. The oxygen percentage is normally 21 or more and is brought back to a value of between 16 and 17. Generators introduce nitrogen to do this job. Smoldering is prevented. Security measures are important to protect people against lack of oxygen. In a fire, oxygen is rapidly dissipated with CO2 gas which is not toxic. Specialists have installed next to the warehouse two cylinders containing 90 tonnes of liquid carbon dioxide. Liquid gas under high pressure means low temperature. And the pressure is high. A fire signals panel is placed at one of the entrances. We will test the installation today. A number of lights blink on the fire panel if the alarm goes off elsewhere in the building. There are visible and audible warnings outside and within the halls. You must evacuate immediately because the oxygen percentage will be reduced considerably. After an extra loud alarm, CO2 will be injected. Oxygen expelled by extra pressure will blow open the roof shutters. Very rapidly, a fog of gas fills the hall. Also, the cameraman must retreat. Outside the hall, the oxygen percentage is still between 16 and 17, and it must go to 12%. Elsewhere, 14.1% is declared. For this test, measuring equipment has been made available from the supplier and the fire brigade. The oxygen percentage runs back. The expanding gas creates icing on the outside pipes. And also within.
Soon it's going to 12%. The fire brigade sends in an employee for an inspection. Finally, the test has succeeded when the display shows approximately 12%. 